Hi, my name is Harper Reed. Um, I'm a CEO of a company called Lunar Technology Corporation in Chicago, Illinois. I am the former CTO for Obama for America, President Barack Obama's re-election campaign in 2012. Anyone under 25, for the most part, has the same views on privacy and data and trust, which is they don't really care. Doesn't mean that they don't care about data. They don't care about the things that we care about. Their ideas of privacy are different than ours. Their ideas of trust are different than ours. And their ideas of around data are different than ours. I think we are watching a, a Kuhnian paradigm shift. Much like any scientific revolution, you are actually seeing words that are, are suddenly incommensurable between two generations. I think it's fascinating. When you talk to older people and you say, your house is burning down, what are you going to grab? They talk about photo albums, the box of photos. We talk to young people, everything is in a cloud. There's nothing permanent. Why would a photo be permanent in the first place? Of course you can delete it after eight seconds. That doesn't make any sense why it has to be permanent. Whereas I have this fear that my photos would disappear. I'm paranoid. And I think there's this big difference where data, it's more about control for the younger people. It's less about privacy. And I think when we, as older people, are thinking about this, we just can't even wrap our heads around what that means. As we move forward with privacy data and all these things, and as these things change and open up, there's a responsibility of the retailers not to be careful, but to not be creepy. So they can tell based on your interactions with the data that they're using that you have something, that you're a man, that you're a woman, that you're pregnant, that you have kids, that you maybe just bought a dog. They can tell these things based on your buying. So rather than surfacing it overtly, they should surface it very carefully. They should be thoughtful about it. And I think that's what we will see retailers doing is when they get caught, it shouldn't be, I was caught. It should be, wow, that's really cool. You did help me get a better deal. And I think that's the transaction we'll start to see. I think we'll start to see it changing because we all interact with data in a way where we are trading data for something better. Um, we do it every day. And so I think that the retailers are the ones that are going to have to learn the language around this trade. And so I think this is something we all have to think about because we also have to create a world where we're not abusing data and abusing um, privacy. But I challenge everyone to think, are we thinking about this from our perspective or is it from these young people's perspective?